Hello, welcome to Anson McGriffin's occasional series of MATLAB tutorials and today we're looking at the hit or miss transform which more correctly could be described as the hit and miss transform and in MATLAB it's called BW hit miss. So before we look at the MATLAB we want to look at some background work as to the theory of it and here I am in Excel and I've just given a simple location. So what we have is we have the image A which is rows 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and then and we want to find where there's a 3 by 3 square. So there is only one 3 by 3 square that's I4 to K6. Okay. So how does the BW hit miss transform work? Well we create a structuring element corresponding to the, what we want to find. So in this case the 3 by 3 and in step one we do A eroded by B and we find two intersections in J19 and N19. Now in part two of the hit or miss we get the complement of A. So we see A above rows 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and the complement is rows 27 to 31 and everywhere we have ones we have zeros and everywhere we have zeros we have ones and I've just described it there. And for step two we get the second structure element which is the one that fits around the original so C is the one that fits around B and I've just drawn a little one there in rows 34 to 38. So what we then do is the complement of A eroded by C so that's rows 27 to 31 eroded by uh, 34 to 38 and the result is there in 42 to 46 so we get two hits there. Step three is the intersection of the two erosion operations. So what I did was I copied and pasted the first uh, A eroded by B into rows 57, 58, 59, 60 and 61 and copied and pasted again the complement of A eroded by C and we now get the logical intersection uh, uh, sorry, the intersection of A eroded by B and the complement of A eroded by C are the logical AND. Okay, so how does this work in MATLAB? Well, we have the script here. So just looking at that, we clear the screen. Uh, we clear all the variables. We read in the image. We have a look at the result now in a minute. We have just showing you the thing. We grayscale it. We convert it to black and white. And because the text is black and a white background on line 13, we convert it so that we have a black background with a white foreground. On lines 14, 15 and 16 I just display the images and on part 2 there that's lines 18 to 25 I want to find the hyphen which we'll see when we run it and the hyphen is the hyphen is 3 rows by 6 columns so that's structural element 1 and structural element 2 is the structural element that fits around that so as per the Excel worksheet so and then we call the BW hit miss uh, function or transform in that's inbuilt in MATLAB. So we give it the image and then we also supply the two structural elements there and then we display our result. Now I also did it as it were by hand. I created structural element 3 which is the same as structural element 1 with 3 rows by 6 columns to find the hyphen. Structure element 4 is the same as structure element 2, that's the uh, one that fits around the 3 by 6. And then all I did was, I, as explained in Excel uh, on line 32, I eroded the image with structure element 3. And on line 33, I eroded the complement of the image by structure element 4. And then I did a logical AND on line 35. A logical AND is an intersection. And on line 35 I've displayed the result and line 35 will give me the same result as line 25. And, and then I wanted to do some region props. I see a little um, problem there, line 35 should be centroid. So I want to find the area, the centroid and the region props. Now the area here will only be one unit. Why? Because there's only one exact match of three rows by six columns. We see the image in a minute. And then, so that BW label is to label the, the area, which is just, uh, there's just a one spot here. And then we see 
uh, the region props. So when we you say region props basic, we get area, centroid, and the bounding box. And we're able to get the area, which is going to be 1. The centroid is you know, the center of gravity of the uh, hyphen, which we'll also find. And we'll also get the bounding box. So let's run the script here. So there's the original image, it's just a web page. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find that hyphen there. So that's figure one. I've read in the image. The next thing I did was I displayed the grayscale image. And that's figure two. I displayed the grayscale image there. Okay. I, I converted that to black and white. I just have to find that. I converted to black and white and then I inverted it so that because the objects you want to find are usually white. So I want to find that hyphen there and before I ran this I used my IM2 command and I got some fairly decent calculations as to what the size of that hyphen was. So it's three rows by six columns. So that's figure three. On figure four I ran the BW hit miss. Now I don't know what it's looking like at the moment. There is a little dot just there. And if I use the zoom tool, you can see the see it getting bigger. So there is just one white spot, so that's where there is one match. I can just zoom out again. So that's using the BW hit miss. Shut that down. Uh, figure five is how I did it. Uh, using the uh, the erode, the two erodes, and then I got the logical inter, uh, then I got the intersection or the logical and like there, and then on the in the using the region props, I used I marked the area a bit clearer. You you can probably see the code there when we are if you care to look at. You can see the code where I got and I just marked it there with a red spot. So that's exactly where the match was and we can see it a bit better. And if I go back to the command window, I can see here the area, the um, the centroid and the bounding box. I just scroll a little right there so we can see that. So that's it. Thanks very much for listening. Bye bye.